Okay guys, now I'm in swim seven with another promo member, Reese Bartby. Reese has been with us a while now. He's actually tackled swim seven, in my personal opinion, in the right way. Well, you have sort of suffered the first 24 hours and the bikes haven't been so far forgiving, have they, to you, mate? No, no. no. Hey, just explain to me before we go into the rig and how you've approached this swim. Well, I've got, well, I picked this swim for the reason it's got a lot of distance on it. I've got a lot of water to play with. OK. Um, I went, I opted for fishing 100 yards. Got a nice, clean, clean drop. Um, Was there any weed present out there? Yeah, there's a lot of weed out there, closer in. So um, you just choose the clearer I'll area? I'll the clearer area so I'll get some bait on it and build a swim up, really. OK. Um, it's obviously took a lot longer to get the fish on than I wanted. Yeah, I mean, last night we saw a few fish showing closer in and we decided to drop a rod on it, but that wants to forgive him. But now the wind's sprung out, up and it's sort of pushed them over your baited area so much, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's all over that, yeah. Okay, so fishing over the silt and things, I guess you needed to change your up length and your tackle a little bit to match that lake bed, did you? Yeah, yeah. So I wanted to make sure I got off all the, off the bottom. It's, there's all dead weed and... Silty, it's not a nice bottom to fish on. So, you fished with so a pop up hook break? Yeah. Okay. I know it's sat there nice. Would you be able to talk me through the bits that you've used to actually tackle the lake bed and result in that two fish hit this yep. morning for me, Reese, please? Yep. Of course, I can, mate. Right, so, I've gone for a helicopter setup. Okay. Two reasons. One, it's um, easier to get it out there. I, well, in my opinion, it's a better casting rig. Okay. Um, and it's, I'm 100% confident it's sitting out there nice. Because of the rotation yeah. and things, so yeah. I've fished um, a stiff boom. Which I notice is quite a long, quite long, long, long yeah. boom section. Yeah. I'm fishing a tight line because of the wind on here. Yeah. I just wanted to get it away from a main line, really. Yeah, OK. And, um, of course, the depth of the silt in case the lead goes into the yeah, silt a bit, you're yeah. still presented. Or if you hit that bit of weed out there or something, it's away. OK, I see you thinking in that. Good skills. So obviously the um, ring swivel there. The rotation on it. Yeah. I've gone for the, a boom, stiff boom, coated braid. Yeah. That's the uh, Armour Tech Core in the 25 pound for the boom section. Steam's really it's straight. Steam really straight, yeah. Yeah, so which perfect. aids with the resetting and everything, Reese, doesn't yeah. it? So I've, just, I've just been propping a bit of foam on that just so it comes sits down. Just to hold it up and then drop it gently over. Yeah, a bit of putty there. Yeah. Just joined. Is that to balance? Is that critically balanced or overshotted that pop-up there? That's overshotted. That I've pulled it down pretty fast. Okay. One interesting point I see there, Reese, is there's no swivel between the boom section and your hook section. Now I've cancelled that out. I've, I've started doing it because I've started fishing smaller pop-ups. Okay. Um, and I it, found a 12 wheel pop-up on them six hooks, like awesome hook holes. And of course, you've got the confidence it's keeping the yeah, smaller yeah. baits staying up for longer to keep the rig yeah. out there, yeah. It's, just try to swivel out. I've joined an Albright knot there. Okay. And this section the of the material? To the chod filament there. That's In, the. I've gone on for fifteen pounds there. That's the fifteen pound chod filament. Just recently reviewed in Total Carp. Got some excellent reviews. Great memory. The curve still stays at extreme range, as That's you can well. see from the curve. Reese has really had some good hook holds on them fish this morning. And then finally, the uh, the hook. The hooks size six choddy which my favourite hook pattern in, in the range. Uh, I use them on my bottom bait rigs and all sorts. I absolutely love them. Just so we don't know if you've in, seen in. them yet, guys, but just try them if they're in a local tackle shop. Just open the packet. All you've got to do is put your finger on them. They're that sharp. You can almost hear the sharpness in them. Yeah. So I've well, tied a small kind of chod set up there. Yep. Um, I've used um, the hook ring swivels. Okay. Ring. Yeah, so your bait's 360 degree is, rotation. Yeah, which is open out from that end as well. Yeah, of course, because you've cut the components down for the yeah. range, not for tangles, but you've put the rotation back in with your up bait there. Bait, yeah. Plus, um, well, I, just, I like the movement there and it work, it's quick and easy to put a pop up on there, just slide it in. It, it, you don't even have to tie a knot. Just tie a quick knot and I'm done. Uh, yeah, and you find the bait still stays on with it, that, don't it's you? It's staying on at like distance, good drop, it's staying on. I mean, that's always on. Well, there you have it, guys. That's Reese Bartby. Ground it out. Effort really does mean rewards.